Hello guys, so I am back with another very big recruitment update that is from the very famous Cognizant. Cognizant is one of the very famous uh, and one of the very favorite companies a lot of, uh, for a lot of people out there. So Cognizant company is hiring for multi-cloud system engineer and here the great news is that people from 2021, 22, 23, 24, all batches are eligible. We are going to see the details here. If you are interested, please keep watching the video till the end. Uh, the salary is exciting. Uh, it is a pan India recruitment, so it's really worth watching the video till the end. Please watch the video till the end. Then, if you are interested in watching these kind of videos, please click on that subscribe button. Thanks for supporting. Please keep supporting. Okay, so let us see the recruitment update from Cognizant. There is a multi cloud system engineer recruitment happening from uh, Cognizant. It is for not just one location Bangalore, Chennai, Pune, Coimbatore, Kolkata. For all these locations, they are hiring system engineer 2021, 22, 23, 24 batch is also eligible. This is multi cloud system engineer. Application deadline is 4th of October. There is enough time, but don't wait till that. Okay. 4th of October 2024, 1.30 pm. Let's see the uh, details. Salary they are offering is 4 uh, lakhs per annum. Yeah, 4 lakhs per annum is the salary. Uh, this is an engineering trainee post. Initially, it's a trainee kind of a post. B B Tech is eligible, M E M Tech is eligible, M C is eligible, M S C is eligible, M S is eligible in any domain or any specialization. All the streams of B B Tech is eligible. Location is Bangalore, Chennai, Pune, Coimbatore, Kolkata. Candidate must be flexible to relocate to any cognizant location as per the business requirement or demand. Engineer trainee will be responsible for maintaining and administrating computing environments including system software, application software, hardware and, conf uh, and configurations, etc. Analyst will monitor the product servers, schedule jobs, incident management and receiving incidents and request for end users. Analyzing these and they are responding to the end user with a solution. They keep uh, to provide support for Windows, network, database, storage, messaging and collaboration uh, and cloud support. Let's see the key, key responsibilities. Perform activities based on defined guidelines in SOPs, adherence to customer security and compliance requirement, adherence to customer communication etiquettes, uh, ensure stated productivity requirements, contribution to continuous service improvement, contribute to and participate proactively in knowledge sharing sessions, act as buddy for new hires, which is also a requirement, uh, organization adherence to organizational policies and process, role expectations, associates should be client focused and able to work with users from different communities to work in 24-7 environment, Night shift allowance will be paid by the project. Cabs for pickup and drop, ensuring safety and comfort. Timely rewards and recognition for top performers. Let's see the details of percentage and things. Okay. 2021, 22, 23, 24. We have already seen that. BB Tech, MEM Tech, uh, MCA, MSC, MS. All streams are eligible. At the time of registration, candidate academic score minimum 50%. Just 50 percent age and above. No standing areas at the time of joining. All recruiters need to recruits need to have minimum 50 percent age. Opportunities are open to Indian nationals. Flexible to re relocate anywhere in India. Huh, student information also they have given. Resume you need to have. Uh, you need to take maximum of two pages. Yeah, nobody is now taking resumes with three, four pages. So please. Optimize your resume with high resolution passport size photograph. Please note the photograph should be taken clicked with the light background. Both the ears should be visible. Mandatory documents: all academic document, college ID, school uh, UG or uh, college UG mark sheets. Mandate mandatory documents: PAN card, final cognizant onboarding should be subjected to background verification, voters ID card or passport. All the things they have given here in detail so click on the link in the description all the links all the details you can find there uh, that's all for uh, today's video if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet please consider subscribing please keep supporting thanks for watching and keep on watching